హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఐ ఎమ్ డాక్టర్ సుషీన్ దత్ సీనియర్ కన్సల్టెంట్ ఈఎన్టి కాక్లర్ ఇంప్లాంట్ అండ్ స్కల్ బేస్ సర్జన్ అట్ ఫోర్టీస్ హాస్పిటల్ బనర్గట్ట రోడ్ బ్యాంగ్లో టుడే వి గోన్ డిస్కస్ ఎ లిటిల్ బిట్ అబౌట్ వట్ ఐ గో విచ్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో కామన్లీ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ గిడినెస్ సో వై ఈస్ వట్ ఐ గో ద డిస్కషన్ ఆన్ వట్ ఐ గో సో రెలవెంట్ టుడే ఐ హ్యావ్ విత్ మీ డాక్టర్ ఆశీష్ రావు హూస్ అన్ ఈఎన్టి అండ్ వట్ ఐ గో స్పెషలిస్ట్ వెల్కమ్ డాక్టర్ ఆశీష్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ సో టెల్ అస్ అబౌట్ ద కామన్ కాజెస్ ఆఫ్ వట్ ఐ గో common causes of vertigo can be it can be the inner ear problem such as bppv that is benign positional proximal vertigo it can be central causes which are, which might be uh, something related to the brain it can be as uh, trivial as a uh, hypoglycemia that is low sugar it can be low bp so there are multiple causes for vertigo uh, finding out what the cause is is the main trick in treating the vertigo patient so a lot of patients come to us by saying that they have vertigo we should all know that vertigo is the technical or a medical name for the symptom vertigo by itself is not a diagnosis so we have to find out the reasons that lead to vertigo or giddiness so what are the common tests for vertigo yes definitely we have uh, something called as video nystagmography it's a very advanced test which is available here at banagata fortis and we do it on a regular basis in this test we can come to know the root cause of uh, the vertigo issue in a patient so we can pinpoint where exactly is the problem and we can tackle that rather than giving symptomatic uh, tablets and relief a lot of patients connect vertigo with being very very sinister or very very dangerous can you tell us about the red flags in vertigo wherein they have to seek medical attention yes vertigo which is persistent for a few days vertigo associated with headaches along with uh, nausea and vomiting and fever these are the red flags and you need to seek out help as soon as possible what are the medical and non medical treatments for what type medically we can give tablets which are vestibular suppressive and more emphasis should be given on rehabilitation where we give exercise head position maneuvers and we try to solve the inner ear issue uh, permanently so it is both a combination of tablet and rehabilitation which gives the best result to the patient so vertigo when evaluated correctly and tested by the right specialists we can expect to have lasting and gratifying outcomes thank you